Ah, what a beautiful time of year, a beautiful time to get out, to see what, what is in store for us. Us humans, us believers, us dogs, apparently. Look at I wanted to come on and, and, and give you guys a little bit of an inspirational talk. A little bit of a, of a, hey, you know, moving forward, have a vision. Have an idea of what your life is going to look like and have, have an idea of what it's coming from, right? But not dwelling on the past. We're not trying to peek into the past and, and constantly be bringing that up and, and trying to rehash things that might, you know, trigger us to perform like we should and, and taking advantage of the things that God lays out in front of us, whether it's a mistake or whether it's a, it's a win or a loss. We have to take those things in stride and we have to realize that a lot of the times that when we get these tests and these trials, they're there for a reason, my friends. We're supposed to get a profound or a tremendously important lesson or a blessing out of that out of that little that little win or loss whatever it may be you guys it's it can go either way so we're having a vision is what we're talking about is looking forward right we're never stagnant but we're never going backwards we can never go backwards because going backwards means taking a drink and taking a drink means death so having a vision going forward means that we have to take each day one day at a time one step at a time one minute to minute, sometimes second to second. But when we look up and we we look at the wondrous creations that God's given us and all the wonderful abilities for us to be kind and generous and honor these relationships that we have out here, these friendships that we're building, do it because you're going to need those people along the way. Because you know what? If anybody's ever told you this, it is a program of we. And don't let anybody tell you any different. Don't, tell them, don't let them tell me it's for her or I. It's a we. It's an us. I love it. Let's keep talking about this thing in another video. But till then, love you guys. Be safe out there. My beautiful friends, welcome back to the channel. Now you are seeing a different application here. This is my Everything AA app, and we are going to go through this real quick. So awesome, awesome app. Uh, I was using the Hazleton 24 hours a day uh, AA app, but I actually like this one quite a bit better. At the top here, you can see that you can input your sober date and they will kick in the years, days, and uh, years, days, and days uh, for you at the top. That's an inspiration that is inspiring for us to see every day, a little token of our, of our time that we've spent in this battle, this recovery. So then we move down to today's daily reflection, and in there we see what we're going to read now. And May 7th, respect for others. Such parts of our story we tell to someone who will understand, yet be unaffected. The rule is we must be hard on ourselves, but always considerate of others. And respect for others is the lesson that I take out of this passage. I must go to any lengths to free myself in which I find that peace of mind that I have sought for so long. However, none of this must be done at, the other, at another's expense. Selfishness has no place in the AA way of life. When we take the fifth step, it's wiser to choose a person with whom I share common aims because if that person does not understand me, my spiritual progress may be delayed and I could be in danger of a relapse. So I ask for divine guidance before choosing the man or woman whom I take into my confidence. And another thing I will add, just as we talk about this, um, we don't ever, ever, ever want to put the blame or... Um, or anything else on another person for something that might have happened in our life. So I know it says that our spiritual progress may be delayed and we could be in danger of relapse, but really, truly, honestly, nobody out there should be ever putting us into a position where we feel we need to drink or drug because of them uh, or stall out spiritually because of them. That is a, <laughs> that is a big no-no. So we stay strong in the, in the program of we, but individually, we got to watch out for those dangers. So... We go back and let's see what here we got the 12 steps the 12 tradition and read the big book the fourth edition now that is really cool because that is going to give us a lot and there is a solution in chapter two and it says we of alcoholics anonymous know thousands of men and women who were once just as hopeless as bill and nearly all have recovered they have solved the drink problem we are average Americans. All sections of this country and many of its occupations are represented as well as many political, economic, social, and religious backgrounds. We are people who normally would not mix, but there exists among us a fellowship, a friendliness, and an understanding which is indescribably wonderful. We are like the passengers of a great liner the moment after rescue from shipwreck when camaraderie, joyness, and democracy pervade the vessel from steerage to captain's table. Unlike the feelings of the ship's passengers, however, our joy in escape from disaster does not subside as we go our individual ways. 
The feeling of having shared in a common peril is one element in the powerful cement which binds us, but that in and of itself would never have held us together as we are now joined. <laughs> the tremendous fact for every one of us is that we have discovered a common solution. We have a way out of which we can absolutely agree, and upon which we can join in brotherly and harmonious action. This is a great news this book carries to all those who suffer from alcoholism. An illness of sort, and we have come to believe it is an illness, involves those about us in a way no other human sickness can. I might add, it is a biological sickness. So it is a disease, a biological disease. It can be hereditary and it does have, uh, predis- you have predispositions to, to getting this. We can talk about that later. If a person has cancer, we are all sorry for him and no one is angry or hurt. But no, not so with the alcoholic illness. For with it, there goes annihilation of all the things worthwhile in life. It engulfs all whose lives touch the sufferers. It brings misunderstanding, fierce resentment, financial insecurity, disgusted friends and employers, warped lives of blameless children, sad wives and parents. Anyone can increase this list. So we hope this volume will inform and comfort those who are or who may be affected. There are many. Highly competent psychiatrists who have dealt with us have found it sometimes impossible to persuade an alcoholic to discuss his situation without reservation or reserve. Strangely enough, wives, parents, and intimate friends usually find us even more unapproachable than do the psychiatrist and the doctor. But the problem, the ex-problem drinker who has found this solution, who is properly armed with facts about himself, can generally win the entire confidence of another alcoholic within just a few hours. Until such an understanding is reached, little or nothing can be accomplished. You see, the man who is making the approach has had the same difficulty, that he obviously knows what he is talking about and that his whole department shouts at the new prospect that he is a man with a real answer, that he has no attitude of holier than thou, nothing whatever except that sincere desire to be helpful, and that there are no fees to pay, no axes to grind, no no people to please, no lectures to be endured. These are conditions we have found most effective after such an approach many take up their beds and walk again we will leave it there so what a cool little thing to have uh as an app right so we go hey guys i can't wait to uh explore more of this uh app with you guys so as i learn more about it i will share it with you guys and thanks for spending time with me today we'll catch you on the next one